Hi, we're performing a scene from Midsummer Night's Dream, and um, I just want to say we had a lot less time than we anticipated to rehearse, because we only had one run through, and while we were blocking, we were told we had to um, perform it in the next couple minutes. So we're really sorry if it doesn't seem too amazing as our last one did, but we tried. So, yeah. And please turn off all cell phones. Or hey, there's no texting during the show. No texting, please. It's the, the flash photography because that is very distracting. Personal experience talking. Um, and yeah, that's all that jazz. And let the scenish thing. Be. I said that right. <laughs> Where are the emergency exits? The emergency exit is right down the stairs or out that window, which is hidden by books mm -hmm. and movies. And yeah. Ceiling. And let the show be. How now, spirit? Whither wander you? Over hill, over dale, through a bush, through a briar, over park, over pale, through a flood, through a fire. I do wander everywhere, swifter than the moon's sphere. And I serve the fairy queen t to do her orbs upon the green. The cowslips, tall her pensies be, in their gold coat spots you see. Those be rubies, fairy favors. In those freckles live their savors. I must seek some dewdrops here, and hang a pearl in every cowslip's ear. Farewell, thou lob of spirits, I'll be gone. Our queen and all of our elves come here and on. The king doth keep his revels here tonight. <coughs> Take heed the queen not within his sight, for over on passing fell in wrath, because that she as her attendant hath a lovely boy stolen from an Indian king. She never had so sweet a ch changeling. And jealous Oberon would, ha would have the child knight of his train to trace the forest wild. But perforce withholds the love boy, crowns him with flowers, and makes him all her joy. And now they never meet in grove or grain. By fountain clear with spangles so like sheen. But they do square that all their high elves fear creep into acorn cups and hide them there. Either I mistake your shape in making quite, or else you are that shrewd and knavish sprite called Robin Goodfile. Are not you he that frights the maidens of the villagery? Skim milk and sometimes labor in the corn. And bootless make the breathless housewives churn. And sometime make the drink to bear no harm. Misled night wanderers laughing at their harm. Those that hobgoblin call you and sweet puck. You do their work and they shall have good luck. Are not you he? Thou speakest all right. I am that merry wanderer of the night. I just to over and make him smile when I fat, when I ate fat and bean fed horse be, be, beguile. Neighing in the likeness of a filly fall, and sometimes lurk, and sometimes lurk in a gossip school, in very likeness of a roasted crab, and when she drinks against her lips, I bob, and and on her withered do, do lap pour the ale, the wisest aunt telling the saddest tale. Sometimes her three foot stool mistaketh me. Then slip I from her bum, down trouble sh she, and Taylor cries and falls into a cough. Then the whole choir holds their lips and laugh. The waxing in their mirth and, and zines and swear a merrier hour never wasted there. But room, fairy, here comes Oberon. And my mistress, would that he were gone. Ill met by moonlight, proud Titania. What jealous Oberon? Fairies skip hence. I have forceless his bed and come. Terry, rash wanton, am I, am not I thy lord? Then it must. Then I must be the lady, and I know where those have stolen away from Fairyland. And in shape of corn sat all day, playing on pipes of corn and verseless love, to um, 
guys have any idea what you were just saying? Yeah. Um, not really. <laughs> yeah, yes, you read Shakespeare extremely well. I do? Yes, you do. I'm bad at it. Well, it's, those are some hard words. You your um, husband. <laughs> no, my friend who oh. has a child. Oh, that's only part of it. Your yeah. Indian friend who had uh, a child. A child. But she died. She died. Yeah. And then I wanted to keep this boy as <coughs> my adoption son, but... But me and uh, her husband didn't want her to, so yeah, we were arguing so, a lot. So, but you wanted it to be your... <coughs> Whatever it's Henchman. Yeah, my henchman. You wanted then, the baby to be your henchman? No, yeah. when he grows older. Oh. But I want and not and not have to be her adopted son. son. And so, um, we're all mad at each other. And or we're mad at each other. And then, um, and then I want this herb that when she when she drinks it or something. No, you put it on her. Put it on yeah. Her. Oh yeah. When, when I when I put it on her eyelids, um, it'll make her fall in love with a monster. Your wife? No. With the next thing she sees. Mm -hmm. No, you want your monster. wife to yes. fall in love with. That's live. That's the, the live. next thing that I see. That's live. Yeah. Oh. The next living thing. Yeah. And then it'll make her fall in love with it. And don't go that person. And who? And who are? Who are Oberon and Titania? I am the queen fairy. You are the queen of the fairies, and Oberon is. The king of the fairies? And who are these two over here? Um, I'm Puck. And I'm a fairy. And who's so, Puck? So, who like, is, Puck is? is my, like, servant. Yeah, and, and the fair is my little servant. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. Nicely done. That was great, you guys. You guys are ready for college. College English. <laughs> just like... You know what? I, I'd be honest. I bet if you talk to Annie, that was a better understanding than her juniors yeah, in college. Probably. Well, Josie helps a lot. <laughs> she kind of broke girl, it down for you guys. Good job, Josie. <laughs> Nicely done, Joe. Who looks awesome. hot under those lights?